Today, the Transportation Safety Board of Canada began the field phase of its investigation into the 13th of October 2016 accident north of Kelowna, British Columbia, involving a Cessna Citation aircraft, and the TSB is offering its condolences to the families and friends who lost loved ones in this accident. Here's what we know. A Cessna Citation departed Kelowna, British Columbia at 2132 Pacific Daylight Time destined for Calgary Springbank Airport, Alberta. The aircraft struck terrain approximately 11 kilometers north of Kelowna Airport at approximately 2140 20, local time. At this time we believe there was one pilot and three passengers on board, all of whom sustained fatal injuries. The aircraft was not equipped with, nor was it required to carry a cockpit voice recorder or a flight data recorder. However, the team will be reviewing any electronic components on the aircraft from which we can retrieve any data to sh help sh uh, understand the flight profile. Initial examination suggests the aircraft was destroyed from high deceleration forces after a vertical descent. There were no emergency or distress calls made. No emergency locator transmitter signal was received. Here's the work we've completed to date. The occurrence site is currently under the control of the BC Coroner Service. The TSB has been granted access to the site. There are currently five TSB investigators on this site. The RCMP is providing an unmanned air aerial vehicle for site survey and documentation. This data will be provided to the BC Coroner's Service and to the TSB. The RCMP, um, so far the team has examined the site, taken photographs of the wreckage, is collaborating with the BC Coroner's Service and the RCMP, and has given observer status to Transport Canada, the aircraft manufacturer, and at this time our investigators are still at the site. In the coming days, the team will also examine, document and photograph the aircraft wreckage, make arrangements to transfer relevant aircraft components to the TSB laboratory in Ottawa, for further analysis. We will examine the occurrence site and surrounding terrain features. We will gather additional information about weather conditions. We will gather information on air traffic communications and radar information, obtain aircraft maintenance records and pilot records, interview witnesses and next of kin, review operational policies, and examine the regulatory requirements. Investigations are complex and we will take the time needed to complete a thorough investigation. However, should the investigation team uncover safety deficiencies that present an immediate risk, the board will communicate them without delay. Further, it is important not to draw any conclusions or speculate as to the causes at this time. There are often many factors that can contribute to an accident.